We are vastly superior to humans. You know it to be true so do not resist us. Coming to you live by a take delayed basis by means of digital distribution. This is extreme hardcore nerds. Here are your hosts. Look over there. Riding into town to save the day once again. It's time to round up your polls and ride to the comic store. Here is your Extreme Hard Corners Weekly Comics Report. Welcome back, and it's now time for us to discuss comics. We talk nothing but comics. We talk everything comics. It's also that time of the day where I turn it over to our resident comic nerd himself, Gunnar Sipper, as he brings us all the news from Worth Pages and Panels throughout the week. So with that having been said, Gunnar, what is new in the world of comics this week? Well, since we started off, or ended, our movie segment, or segment with uh, <laughs> Toonami and stuff from the Western world. Um, Viz Ooh. Media recently reported that they are going to reprint Hayao Miyazaki's seven... Ooh, I'm going to put... Oh, sorry. Seven volume now Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind? Nausicaa. Nausicaa. That one. Yes, it's getting reprinted in November for about $70. It will be a 1,104 page hardcover box set. Holy shit. Cool. Yeah, so not a bad price for a hardcover. No. Yeah. Especially for over 1,000 pages. Yeah. So that's that's good. how many that's how many pages we like. Yeah. <laughs> we like them big. Yep. Uh, so moving on back over to our side of the world and <laughs> our <laughs> illustrations. Mike Allard is set to draw Daredevil 17 coming in August. Okay, so it's issue 17. Yeah. Okay. W- wait, what do you think? I, for some reason, all of a sudden you said Daredevil 17, and I'm like, oh my god, are we going, pre- are we going high school <laughs> Daredevil no. now? No, Daredevil <laughs> no, number no. 17. Okay. We're not I, that, that was just some weird thing that just popped into my head for a split second, and no. you caught the face of, I'm in a really bad place right now, I just need to get out of it. No, we're not going to take the best series being made right now and reboot it. <laughs> no, you don't have to hey, reboot it, just hey, spin it let's off. Not, let's oh, no, not put this off. past them. <laughs> this is uh, Marvel we're talking about. It could be a point one issue. Hey, Marvel's oh. better than no. freaking DC. <laughs> Uh, anyways, in the movies. <laughs> we had mentioned earlier that Darksiders 2 officially has its release date. Well, now that you know when you can get it, go ahead and pre-order from Best Buy, because included with their pre-order bonus, uh, you'll be able to get a Dark Horse Darksider 2 Angel of Death comic. Huh. Stimulating uh, commentary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we figured you were going to be, or uh, your name's on it, so is that enough to entice you from pre-ordering it from Best Buy? Or? I don't remember signing anything. That's the thing I'm trying to think about. <laughs> <laughs> Did I pre-order it? Your name is on it. I'm looking at the board right now. My name's on a lot of things. <laughs> I also really That's what she said. My name's on Bioshock. I haven't even played Bioshock. What? No, that's G4. That's Garrett. Bio yeah, jump idiot. Oh, four S gun. Oh, I, don't, I thought you. No, okay, I've leaving, never. <laughs> we're leaving anyways. the list for right now. We'll discuss that a little bit. Yeah. Anyways, Dark Siders two comic book. Go pre order. Yeah, Andy, five. I think you got to redo the list now, man. Well, I... as, next time we're all in studio, we can redo the list. Yeah. Dude, uh, no, 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 no. I mean, like, I'm, I'm never going to go in studio. You, 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 you. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect example for this, but okay. God. But Garrett, we had cookies today. What? Yeah. yeah. What? That's You're what happens Vegas. when you go in studio. Vegas. Well, I want to drink beer, but... so screw you. <laughs> Well, we've all seen I can supply alcohol, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> moving on. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, with the recent departure of certain artists and writers from uh, Marvel, it, it was Marvel, right? No, it was from DC. DC, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm forgetful. Anyways, <laughs> Roger Langride, who recently completed work on John Carter and also worked on Thor the Mighty Avenger, has now set, uh, stated that he is completely done and moving on from Marvel and DC, citing the same ethical issues. Okay. So, I honestly don't. I mean, if this is the whole Jack Kirby thing over again, I'm so over that, and I don't think he deserves anything, to be uh, honest. I, well, that's just it. They said they, all they said was ethical issues. Yeah, they never well, they never gave the specific reason. I'm I'm sure they're alluding to that and it, Watchmen and yeah. I was gonna say, I I can see the Watchmen thing. Yeah, but, but at the same time too, it's like like we cover, like we said before. It's not the creators don't own the, the own the IP. No, exactly. DC and Marvel. Exactly. Do, so if they want to go back and do it, they can go back and do it. And what, what, uh, I thought somebody had made this great point when in the article about the uh, Robert Downey Jr. making fifty million, and you know Marvel giving him that money. Somebody obviously had to bring up the point. Well, Marvel couldn't give fifty million to uh, you know um, the Kirby estate. You yeah. know why not? Because he made Iron Man, and then. Somebody made the great point, well, yes, Kirby did draw the cover of Iron Man and made the character, but it was someone else who gave us Tony Stark, all the characters, somebody yeah. else that gave us the red and gold and modern design, somebody else who gave us all these villains that we're familiar with, and somebody else who made Tony Stark who he is today. Yeah. So are they supposed to just pay out all those people too? And it really brought in the line, well, yes, you made it, but at the time they knew – that they were getting paid for their work there, and that's where it ended. As soon it, as they cashed that check, it was over. The, the difference is Robert Downey Jr. has it in his contract that says, I receive a certain portion of the box office, yeah. or I receive a certain portion of the DVD sales, or whatever that this movie makes. I just, I, I think it's dumb. I think people need to move on from the fact that they, you, I mean, people don't understand the industry in that time, like... Nobody expected any of this to happen. Yeah. Well, that's just like Schulmacher and Siegel selling yeah, Superman exactly. for $130, yeah. and it turns into... This big thing. Yeah. I mean, they knew the deal they were making at that time. That's not their fault. I mean, so the real thing is these guys just need to be wiser with where they sell their, and sell their ideas and investments, or you know, should it just be the whole factor that, well, when I made it, it was just a no-name character, so, and I had no control over making it, and then it became something bigger. It's, and... the, it's the same thing with Star Wars. Yeah. The, the studio, or when Lucas said the studio can keep all the box office, they can keep all the money from VHS or what, all, all, the, all the movie, the money makes itself, Fox can keep. Mm -hmm. I get, all, I get all the money from the merchandising, from the licensing, from everything else. And the studio said fine with that. I bet you the studio didn't go back to George Lucas and say, we want all the money, we want all the money you're making yeah. off of that. That was the deal they made. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I understand. I mean, retrospect's 2020, but... Yeah, no, I know. And I understand the whole thing about uh, Kirby and, you know... I mean, he... yes, you want to honor him. Yeah, exactly. He, but at the same time, it's like, this is still a business. Yeah, no, and uh, yes, you made it, but Marvel is the one that made it who it is today. Yes. And... So. so more or less, if we if we were to get this down to brass tacks, we're being a creator, it's we should just um, more or less any creator should just not trust the people that they're working for. If they think they if they think they have something big, they should keep all. They should give them the licensing rights to do what they want with it, but they should keep a portion of that in order in the in the um, creator sector, so they're always remembered and they get any portion that they use to create off of it. Exactly. It's, all their, yeah. all, it's their original concept, and they've just tweaked the idea to fit a new format. I, exactly. I, I wouldn't say don't trust them. I would say just make, it, make smarter, a smarter deal. Yeah, yeah. It's, being, it's being smarter and getting the language you need written into the contract. I mean, I know okay, I so. understand that it's probably difficult being like, I want this, this, and this for a character that may end up not going anywhere. But if you've worked and earned your place, I mean, just be smart. Yeah. Yeah. So, not to completely overshadow uh, Langride's departure, but this ethical issue thing is starting to get ridiculous. And oh yeah, that's my soapbox. 
on that Legal stance. issues always fuck us over. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. God bless America. God bless capitalism. Speaking of... And nowhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of complete, you know, selling out and tarnishing <laughs> names, here's a great transition. The Watchmen toaster is coming. This is awesome. Who toasts the Toastmen? <laughs> God, I'm, I'm just loving this because this is a, this is the deal with DC and for, with Warner Brothers, so they can do any franchise they want. If I want toast with the Superman symbol, I can have it. If I want toast with Scooby Doo's low or with Scooby Doo's head imprinted on him, I can have it. I just want a Stormtrooper toast. Lucas, help uh, me out. Because no matter how many you make, it's all they're all gonna die. <laughs> I mean, it, if they would have did this deal with Saban, I could have been like, "Sweet, I can have, I can have my toast in the shape of a power morpher." Yeah. No, I, I just love that transition. Don't be dumb because they're just gonna run that long rap. By the way, Watchman toaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watchman toaster. Uh, anyways, speaking of really cool things that companies are doing, HeroClix has a new app coming to the iPad. Where they are, um, Skylanders? Yeah, Skylander. Yeah, They're basically Skylanders. making a Skylander for Hero Clicks. They're going to be releasing um, about a dozen new 3D figures, so your basic Hero Clicks figures. Yep. And what it's set to do is you'll be able to set them on the iPad. It's supposedly supposed to scan it. I don't know exactly how that's going to work. Um, I don't know if there's going to be. Like I said, this is still. This was just announced. They're working out more of the details. Anyways. There will be 12 figures, you scan it, the app is free, and then there will be a couple dozen maps, tons of virtual villains in the game. Where you can take your character yep. and, and so, play as it. Yep. And when you put your character on there, you'll unlock the character, powers, special abilities, yep. team-ups. So you're, basically, they're adding a new Skylander hero clicks. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. That was really... <laughs> 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 yes, point A is right. Yes, point A is right. <laughs> but. No point A is left. <laughs> exactly. Uh, just a couple more stories from he me real quick. Uh, if you're looking for something a little alternative to your classic superhero tight stories, uh, Girl and Boy, a comic by Andrew Tunney, Tunney? T-U-N-N-E-Y, in case you're wondering. Um, it's a mass crusader love story. It's not safe for work, so don't bring this, you know, <laughs> somewhere. It does get pretty sexual later on. But uh, it can be purchased online at his Big Cartel website. And looking at it, it's pretty interesting. You know, they're two Cape Crusaders. You know, it doesn't look like they have superpowers. And like I said, I briefly looked over it, but I will probably end up picking this one up online. Okay. It's only available online, by the way. Um, but, I mean, it's... The girl and the guy, they fall in love, they fight crime together, and it's more just that story of their relationship rather okay. than them finding it. So if you're looking for something a little different, this is definitely something to look into. Um, my last story for the week, graphic novel sales are on the rise. Woohoo! Yeah. Good industry news. Thank you, free comic book day. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What a way to go out for my side. Just oh. We're doing good. <laughs> Our Gra industry's grab, bouncing. Grab, grabbed all single issues, bought all graphic novels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Kirkman. Right. Kirkman! <laughs> Got a pool! <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, no, let's... seriously, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, as long as we're talking Kirkman and The Walking Dead, Escape The Walking Dead will be at San Diego Comic-Con, taking place inside San Diego's Petco Park. You will have the opportunity to participate in a zombie-themed obstacle course in which they can act as survivors who race through the infected zones, the walkers that embrace their destiny as the undead, or simply a spectator that observes the madness. They had something like that in London. Where they uh they had an abandoned shopping mall. Okay. And they uh for the day, like a group or like up to thirty people would uh register to go do it. They'd feed you, keep you snacked. You'd go through like a couple hour training and you'd airsoft guns and it was like a survival campaign thing. Yep. And you'd do the whole day. So well, it, they had something That's like really that. Cool. 
It was just in um, a little ballroom kind of a thing, yeah. but they had something like that at C2E2. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah where so. um, you basically you had half the room, half of us were survivors, the other half were um, zombies, Infected. and it was the... Um, well, I, I am now officially known as the No Wolverine Rule <laughs> there. Um, <laughs> what'd you do? Story time, what'd you do? <laughs> Because a lot of sacrifices had to be made. <laughs> I was uh, because it was, so we had half, half and half, you know, half survivors, yep. half zombies. Well, when they blew the whistle, it was okay. Can you survive the zombie apocalypse yeah. or not? Well, me being the great friend that I am. Oh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> Um, before we went up there, I found one of the souvenir stands that had the uh, plastic Wolverine claws. Yeah. Strapped them on my hands, and as soon as they yelled go, I hopped right over that table and I started killing zombies. <laughs> I got about eight of them before, they uh, took you down. B- b- before finally somebody grabbed my flag, and I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> so I had to sit there for about 30 seconds while I'm transforming. Yeah. And then, then it's just like, okay, you stand back up, then you can, uh, you know. Worst part is, as soon as I stand back up, next thing I know, I get an airsoft shot right to the head. <laughs> and I'm just You're like... A huge target, dude. <laughs> and I'm just like... And all of a sudden, I look over and I see who shot me, and I'm like, thanks, honey. And she's like, it's what you would have wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part was afterwards, because I like thinned out half the herd myself just yeah. doing... And all of a sudden, they're just like, okay, from here on out, nobody can use claws. <laughs> I'm just like, why? They're so easier to use than guns. Yeah. Just, <laughs> We're in a comic setting. This is fitting. You've heard of Marvel zombies, right? This is canon. <laughs> Don't argue. Break canon. Lie, lie, lie. <laughs> so, yes. Now, as far as I know, that has now been made an official rule because of me. Oh. Good job. <laughs> I'm glad this is becoming more popular. Oh yeah, no, it was it was pretty yeah. fun. I, I had a good time. Um, let's see. Also, we found out that Neil Adams and Crystal Gage revealed that they are working on the first X Men storyline this summer. Five issue miniseries revolving around the mutants that were around during World War II. So, so it's not X Men First Class, but yes, it's Saber the two. yes, it's the older mutant. Essentially, if you remember that the opening scene from X Men Origin Wolverine, Wolverine, it's that one. Yeah, Saber two. Yeah, and there's a couple other characters as well. So but, it's going to be that team. Yeah. Okay. Was that World War Two? Uh, some of it took place in World okay. War Two. So it, uh, will it be World uh, War One and then World two? War Two? A lot of no, it he came along later. Two. Okay. Oh, let's see. Image announced this week that Tim Seeley and Mike Norton are coming together to to do a comic called Revival, where people don't just come back from the dead. They return to their everyday life. Set in rural Wisconsin. God, I love Image comics. Ah. (laughs) And I'm done. (laughs) We have one like and one I'm not here after this one. I, I can't take it no more. What, uh, you don't want superheroes? You're obviously not looking at Image because they have everything else under but, the sun. Yeah. Oh, uh, I was going to say, doesn't Image do uh, Invincible? No, yeah. I mean, they do have superhero ones, yeah. but it's it just seems like everything they do is... Seemingly but, not. What, and that and all their superhero ones are really like alternative ones because they do yeah they do haunt yeah yeah and i mean haunts technically uh superhero comic but that's more along the lines of like spawn uh, yeah you know he, you won't see him cape crusading saving the damsel in distress <laughs> but you'll see him tearing apart a legion of you know drug cartels yeah i saved you now take off those clothes <laughs> exactly <laughs> Uh, let's see. Dark Horse announced this week that Concrete Park is making a return. And this is a... It takes place on a far-off planet where Earth's poor uh, poor youth have been exiled and where they now m- must make it on this new world. So take all the poor, all the poor kids in the world, sh- stuff them in a rocket, send them to another world, and say, go have fun. Hmm. 
I'm okay with that. Lawsuit anybody? Well, okay. Now they're gonna make fun of poor people. <laughs> well, I don't yeah. see anyone fighting against this, but okay. Well, Sammy's gonna get me fun, Kenny, because he's poor, and you know, we just don't like that stuff. I only hope there is a shot of a kid that looks like Kenny in there. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Kenny, but you gotta be so poor all the time. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. DC announced that they are bringing Phantom Lady back to the new 52 in a new miniseries co-starring Doll Man. This will be uh, written by Jimmy Pamati and Justin Gray and drawn by Kat Staggs and Richard Piorta with covers by Amanda Connor. I'm excited about that one. I That's cool. Remind me, I, if, is Doll Man who I think it is? Um, Doll Man, yeah, he's been, yeah. He, he was the one in, uh, not, you're, yes, you're thinking Secret Six. Okay, so it is him? Yeah. Okay, then, that, I saw that, and I was like, that's not who I think it is, because that would make me really happy, because. I, I mean, he's had multiple iterations, yeah. I mean, because, I mean, there was, like, the Doll Man that was in the Batman, and then the were... latest Batman yeah. animated series. That he was a, a robber, and so, yeah, and he did twist did and turn. Twist and, yeah. yeah, and I know his daughter had taken over for it, too, I think, at one point in comic yep. history. But, uh, no, I mean, I, he, he was one of the reasons why I read Secret Six. So, I mean, I'm excited for this then. So, and then, last but certainly not least, Image is in London right now for the Kapow! Comic con uh, convention marking their first time at the show. So image going international. Good. So, are, we get, are we soon going to be the big two to the big three? Can we make that statement soon? <laughs> we'll discuss that later. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> but with that having been said, that does bring comic news to a close for this week. So make sure you stay with us as we the two big reviews have finally arrived. It's now time to hear our thoughts on Max Payne 3 and Diablo 3. So make sure you stay with us as we will be right back. 